Hi everybody, head golf professional Tim Harris here talking to you about the rules of golf. Uh, if you remember in some of my previous videos, we talked about taking relief from an immovable obstruction such as a cart path like I'm standing on right here. Um, we went over your options, but I didn't quite explain how you would take what is called complete relief from an immovable obstruction. So things that are man-made such as a concrete cart path, um, an irrigation box, a sprinkler head, those are all called immovable obstructions where you are afforded free relief. So you first have to find out where your nearest point of relief is, and then you are afforded complete relief. So I want to explain that to you really quick, what complete relief means. Because it could make a difference whether you're a right-handed or a left-handed golfer, or which side of the car path you would get the free uh, complete relief on. So an example here, we're on river hole number two, the par five, and I hit my drive a little bit to the left. It stayed on the cart path here, and it's right up against the edge of the grass, so I do get relief from the cart path. Now, your nearest point of relief is usually on the side that it, it's closest to, but as you can see here, the red line, which indicates the lateral um, penalty area, would not allow me to take relief on this side because you can't drop a ball inside a penalty area. So therefore, I'm afforded complete relief on the other side. So what I will do is I will go over here before I pick up my golf ball, and I will get my stance, which is not closer to the hole, okay? It's kind of on the side of a hill here, but at least I do get relief. And then once I take my stance and put my club down, okay, I mark where that would be. And then I get one club length from that spot. So I would go this way, one club length, put another tee down. Now I can go ahead and pick up my ball and under no penalty because this is a free relief, I can drop the ball within here with his, now the ball is in play. So the idea behind complete relief is that you are allowed to take a stance, which is giving you that complete relief, the closest you can to the car path, then put your club down, measure a club length from there. Okay, now I'm going to take you a little bit further down uh, the hole here on river number two, and I'm going to show you how it comes into play for whether you're a right-handed or left-handed golfer. Okay, now we're further down the fairway here on river two. We're still on the left side. You can see my ball is on the cart path. On each side of the cart path, I have plenty of room to take a drop, so I am afforded complete relief. So I am right-handed, so on this side of the cart path, which is closest to where the ball is, I can mark my nearest point of relief just off the path here. And then I get one club link from there. I'll put another mark in. Okay. So now I can lift my ball. And I can drop it right here and go ahead and play my shot. Let's say that uh, I was left-handed golfer. Okay. And my ball was here again. Well, as a left-handed golfer, I would have to establish my stance first. So my, my spot is here for the complete relief. So I would take my stance first, then put the club down, because I'm hitting left-handed going this way, mark here, and then get a club length from there. Okay. So now, as a left-handed golfer, I probably had a little bit more room to take my drop, because I have to be afforded complete relief from the car path. So now I can drop here as a left-handed golfer and go ahead and play my shot. So depending on which side of the cart path you're on, it could make a difference if you're right-handed or left-handed. You're always afforded complete relief. Always remember that. If the ball is on this side of the cart path, closer to here, as a right-handed golfer, I would establish my stance first, then take the one club length. Another thing to remember, and we've attached another video, uh, the USGA version to this one also, Sometimes the nearest point of relief doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option for you. Like if this whole area here was trees or, sh or scrubs, you know, shrub bushes, but it was outside a penalty area, and that's your nearest point of relief, you would still have to drop it in there, <clears throat> as long as that's not marked red, okay? So you can always play it as it lies. That's always an option. Um, if your ball is on a cart path, and you determine that you don't want to drop because there might be a bad area here at your nearest point, you can always go ahead and play it as it lies. We hope this helps. Uh, please check out the USGA video attached to this to, for a further explanation. And I hope everyone has a great season. Thanks.